Hello, and welcome to Library Resources for Evidence-Based Practice. This video will explain what library resources to use when you're looking for evidence-based practice or EBP research. When we think about evidence-based practice, there are five major steps. Ask, find, appraise, apply, evaluate. Where does the library come in? The library comes in at point number two, find. Once you have formulated your question, you will use library resources to track down the best evidence to answer it. This guide will explain how to use various databases to find that research. When we search for evidence, some study types are generally considered higher quality than others. The evidence pyramid is a useful visualization of this. The studies are listed with the most rigorous at the top and the least rigorous at the bottom. We're always looking for the best quality evidence available to answer the question. If we can't find something at the highest level, we keep moving down the pyramid to the next highest level until we find the evidence we need. The better the quality of evidence we can find, the more confident we can be when using it to make clinical decisions. Meta-analysis and systematic reviews are at the very top of the pyramid. These are considered filtered research. That means they looked at lots of studies on a given topic, systematically analyzed them, and came up with the conclusions based on the evidence of all those studies. No matter what type of clinical question you have, well-conducted systematic reviews and meta-analyses are always better than any individual study. The other study types listed, from randomized control trials on down to animal and lab studies, are unfiltered research. They have not gone through the same rigorous review process, but may still be useful for answering your clinical question. While searching for specific study types can be helpful to narrow our results, don't assume that type alone guarantees quality research. A poorly executed study won't yield sound evidence. That's why it's important to critically appraise the research after you find it. One final reminder, always go through the library website when accessing any database. Don't just Google PubMed or whatever database you plan to search. Going directly through the library's page ensures you have access to all of our subscriptions. Choose the Articles and Databases tab in the gold box. You can click on the first letter of the name of the database you want, then scroll down the list until you find it. Or you can choose Health Sciences from the Topic Discipline drop-down list. This will significantly narrow your results and make it easier to find the databases that will be most useful for finding the answers to clinical questions. It also has a list of the most frequently used databases right at the top. This video covered a lot of information quickly. If you have any questions, please ask us. You can chat with us, email us, or schedule an appointment to meet with a librarian in person or virtually to help with any of your research needs.